Good afternoon. How are we doing? <laughs> I've heard maybe explain the last video. Um, you know, maybe you thought that I was actually just going to go straight on with the stain. <coughs> you can't do that. There's nothing wrong with, with that, but I said to myself, oh, you might expect me just to go on to put the stain on, and, and uh, but no, I'll build it up and uh, put the varnish stain on. Uh, I wouldn't, obviously, I wouldn't do that with uh, the hazel, but uh, the bare wood, yes, uh, you know, this is the way I go about it. Uh, gives you a better result, and uh, so as you can see, I gave it another one the other night there, to just, I darkened it up a little bit to get ready for the walnut, uh, so I've now sanded it off, I gave it, a, quite, I was quite sore with it, but certainly gave it a good sand this time. I want it to grip up and uh, this will be the final coat of this, hopefully, and uh, once you've done that, I clean off with a rag of white spirit and just a rub down with something very clean just to take the residue of white spirit off, you don't want the, the varnish stain getting slack at any point when you're putting it on. Uh, but. I said, I think I'd explain them. I'm all over the place at times. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I never know from one moment to the next where I'm going to be and what I'm doing, like, you know. But uh, we've got the stain with the varnish in it now. And so we're going to have a look at this. This will be hopefully the, f the final coat on it. There's enough there to give it to, but I'm hoping that this one will just do. Bring it to the, the shade I'm wanting it. Um, and we'll stick it on. See how it goes. Right. The brush has been cleaned. That brush has not been cleaned, mind you. I'll leave it there now. I'll be fine. Probably stand on it and go all my lens at some point. Let's see what we're looking at. Oh yes, that'll do. I've cut it to length now. I've measured and it's been cut to length. So we're quite happy with that. The reason for giving it a bit of a, a sand before you put the last one on is to let it in a bit and get the stain to go in slightly here and there just to accentuate it a little bit. And I take likes of the, you know, the knot bits, it'll show up a little bit when it dries off. You won't see it totally till it's completely dry. Yesterday afternoon, mind you, very long and seen Robert. We had a look at the, the old smithy before they finish up. I don't think I'd seen a forge as quite as big as that one before, but it was set up originally for the wheelwright to used to do a lot of wheels and all that, so they needed something big enough to get the rims in. Set up in the 1840 or something, 1840 or 50s, something like that, like you know. But uh, I'm afraid it'll be the, when it's all cleared away, it'll be the bulldozer, I think. Demolition. Uh, it won't go much further. But a lot of old, a lot of old, old gear, old tools, old equipment. But, but he's, I don't know, if they're having a sale, mind you, or auction at it, so I don't know how it'll go. It seems to think that it'll create a bit of interest. It's perfectly well, I suppose, but whether anybody will want 
that kind of equipment now, I'm not sure. The modern, you can go and buy the modern equipment out of the machine, that'll do a lot quicker and easier and more accurate too. This is the thing. But it's nice to look at you know, the, way, the way things were at one time. And obviously there's a lot of farrier work went on in there too. There's one or two draw knives and spoke shaves and things like that. I <laughs> thought I might be interested, but it's oh, got really a whole load of stuff there. I never do, I'll never use it. Never be used again. I mean, nowadays you pull a trigger and it's instantaneous. There's no work, work as such in it. Yeah, that's very, very nice, that looks lovely. That's basically what we're looking at now. That'll be the finished, finished product as such. The handle I've already given a coat to, but I'll finish off all, finish off at a later time. When you're coming up with the, the varnish stain, just go over the, the joint, that little bit, build it up that little, helps seal it all. Yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah. But it was very interesting. Got a cup of tea and thought about the good old tea. The good old days, there's a thing with my hero. <laughs> oh dear, I want some bloody good actually to tell you the honest bloody truth. There's no bloody money and plenty of bloody work. I wonder how many smiles about. There you are. That's, that's fine at that, that's champion. Let it sit at that. Once that dries, that'll be, that'll be fine. That'll be good. Yes. So, he's going to give me a shout before the, the sale. And uh, I've also, the way I've stuck it here, I've also got to go in. I should actually make something up and hang it, but I'm going to touch up a little bit that uh, sits against the seat when it's all finished. Give it a light rubbing thing. I'm going to have Fankel trying to hang things up when I'm trying to do this on camera. Multitasking's not really a strong point now. <laughs> yeah, but it was really, it was really interesting. The, the, the ring outside was there for like, putting the hub for the wheels. Uh, so I was going to head it up in the forge, took it out. The secret of making the, the, the steel rim for the, the, the wagon wheels and the wheels and all that were was to just get the size just right. I had to be made smaller than the actual wheel itself. And then head up in the forge which makes it expand. And then take it out, you've got to get the right point with the heat all through it. Take it out, lay it on top of the wheel, chop it into place and then quickly quench it to get the steel to shrink again and uh, it's a tight bond to the wood. Uh, very skillful business. <coughs> there's no actual, I don't think there's any particular written down formula for it as such. I think it's all to do with skills handed on from, you know, men to, to boys and carrying on through like, you know, so uh, but very, very skillful. Right? I would imagine anyway, I've not tried anything like that myself, right? Uh, but as I said before, I liked, I liked, the force in the winter was very good, right? But it wasn't anything as big as that. Um, as I said, 1840, 1850, somewhere in about there, the whole thing was set up, like, you know, and uh, busy place, of course, back then, it would be all the, the, it's all wagons and horses and carts and things, so, shoeing horses and, it would be a, a busy, busy place, but now it's more, 
blacksmith now is uh, more artistic, art architectural, and, and there's a lot of uh, people doing particular kind of work, and some of it very, very nice, there's no doubt about it. Really, really nice work. Right? But uh, whether there's a, a complete living to be made for, I don't really know, maybe in certain places, but it depends how the area you, you've got it on. Right? But I remember once uh, I used to work for a, a retired charter, well, do some jobs for a retired charter accountant, him and his wife, Lewis, oh, marvellous couple they were. But, oh, dear, dear, I always remember this night in particular, Saturday night it was, and I get the phone call for Lewis. Jim, Jim, can you come round and say me? It was Saturday night, Lewis, I was thinking about it out. Oh, just, it was, me and Peter are having a disagreement about the curtain rail we've got made. We to, how to best put it up. I said, can it not wait? Oh, tomorrow or Monday or something. Oh, so... Give me ten minutes, Lewis, and I'll come round, like, you know, and they'd had this... <laughs> they'd had this cotton wheel made up specifically by a blacksmith, and a beautiful bit of work it was, like, you know. And, uh, There was nothing really complicated, it was just where the bracket should go, in terms of holding the whole thing. It was a heavy bit of work, but it was lovely, I mean... But they'd got it commissioned, and thing and then... So, I, <laughs> Grace says to me later on, she says, she was working in the pub at the time, she was doing a bit of bar made. By the time I got round, finished that night, and I appeased the two of them, which was difficult to say the least, like, you know, because they both wanted it a particular way. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, it's a diplom diplomatic business, this should have been in diplomatic court, I should have been in at times. So I eventually got round, and by the time I got back, I had to fit it too, of course, take my tools and fit it. And uh, by the time I got into the pub, I said, where have you been? I just thought, I wouldn't believe it, I'll tell you later. <laughs> so that was that, like, very nice couple. And uh, I don't, I don't want to do much for them, really, in all honesty, like you know, because uh, oh, it's, it's, it was too much for me. It's, it's uh, <laughs> too difficult at times. But anyway, that's the, the time up. So we'll leave it at that now. And uh, but that's, that's worked out nice. That'll probably do now. Uh, I don't think I'll need any more. I'll do the handle later on once it sets up a bit. And that. Uh, anyway, we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.